iPhone being stuck on a black screen with a spinning wheel is not a rare problem. For people who are updating their iPhone to iOS 14, they may get a black screen with a spinning wheel. You can check the screen below. If you have that screen on your device, then you're in the right place. This problem usually happens for software glitches. At least 90% of cases are resulted from that. Therefore, the solutions below are all about fixing software problems. Today, we'll use two methods to solve this problem. First solution is to force restart the iPhone. This method varies between iPhone model, but we will only talk about steps of the iPhone 8 or later models here. If you get another model, you can go to the video on the top right corner, which contains more detailed steps of all models. You can choose the part where it suits you. Now let's begin. For iPhone 8 or later models, let's quickly press and release the volume up button. Then quickly press and release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. If it works, now your phone should reboot and be fine again. But sometimes the iPhone fails to return to normal by this way because of unknown causes. Thus, you could try the second solution. Use an iOS repair tool. Just download and install the software. There are versions for both Windows and Mac. I've put the download link in the description in case you need it. Open the software, click on the standard mode, then connect your device to the computer and tap next. Now you need to put your phone in DFU mode, recovery mode, so that the software can detect your phone. The steps of putting your phone in recovery mode, DFU mode, are different depending on your iPhone models. Also, I'll show you how to get in recovery mode on iPhone 8 and later models. As for other models and the steps for DFU mode, you can simply follow the instructions of the video in the top right corner. For iPhone 8 and later models, press and release the volume up button and then press and release the volume down button. Finally, hold the side button until the recovery mode screen shows. Once your phone gets detected, you can select the firmware version you want and tap download. After downloading is done, click start. Eventually, you'll get a screen like this and your phone will go back to normal soon. As you can see, all photos and apps are kept here, no data loss.